what is the best mythic bee according to artificial intelligence? Okay, so for this entire video, this is all just theoretical. So what this is based off of is if you had 50 of one mythic bee, what bee would make you the most honey? We are excluding amulets, equipment, all that. It's just based off of the statistics of the bees themselves. Please subscribe and like this video. It would support the channel a lot. After I use AI, it's not exactly built for this, but it's kind of a, a fun video idea. I will also give my own opinion and you can too in the comments below. All of this is an opinion, and it's all theoretical. Okay, so I have every single mythic bee typed up onto a Google document right here. I've got the buoyant bee, the fuzzy bee, the precise bee, the spicy bee, and last but not least, the tadpole bee. Well, actually, last but not least is the vector bee. I cannot believe How did I mess that up? Anyways, we are going to go ahead and copy and paste the whole document, and we're going to put it into, drumroll please, the one and only chat GPT. I mean, come on. Look at this. It's beautiful. C-H-A-T-G-P-T-P-L-U-S. Plus, this is the premium of ChatGPT. This is ChatGPT 4. Most people use the less smart GPT because it's free, which is GPT 3.5. This is GPT 4 with advanced reasoning and creativity skills. I'm not even sure if this thing knows about Bee Swarm Simulator or that any of these bees even exist because its knowledge cutoff is in 2021. But we're going to see how it goes. Probably give it some context before we do this. I did not exactly think about how much reading we're going to be doing. Yes, I'm familiar with Bee Swarm Simulator on Roblox. It's a popular game on the platform where players can raise their own bees and use them to collect pollen, which can then be used to make honey. Players can also complete various quests, discover new types of bees, and complete different challenges. The objective of the game is usually to collect resources and build up your own swarm of bees to be as powerful and as efficient as possible. Keep in mind that specifics about the game, including features or mechanics, might have changed if there have been updates or changes after my last data in September 2021. You might want to check the latest updates and community forums for the most current information. Why does it like that, I like okay, anyways, so <coughs> okay, so these are all bees that are currently in the game. It's 2023, and your knowledge is two years behind. But I will give you context to everything you need to make your decision on this. Okay, here we go. We're gonna send that. Absolutely, I'm here to help. Even with the knowledge up until 2021, I will do my best to provide insights or advice based on the information you provide. Go ahead and share the details, and I'll assist you accordingly. Okay, so now we can paste the thing in. Hold on, here we go. Uh, paste. Send. Here we go. Certainly, with this comprehensive information, we can discuss how these bees might perform in various aspects of the game. Let's break this down by comparing their abilities and stats. In the meantime, comment below what you think the best mythic bee in the game is, in your opinion. This is all opinions, there's really no perfect bee in the game. They're all, they're meant to work together. Ah, here we go. One, buoyant bee, high honey production and convert amount. Specializes in enhancing blue flower pollen collection and capacity expansion. Has the potential to provide massive bonuses through the surprise party and balloon enthusiast abilities. Its abilities focus on increasing balloon pollen and creating opportunities for more honey and capacity. The fuzzy bee. Slower gather and convert speed, but high gather amount. Enhances flower growth rate and pollen through pollen haze and fuzzy coat. Its bombs and pollination abilities can boost pollen collection significantly over time. Number three, the precise bee. Has a focus on critical and super critical hits, potentially greatly increasing damage and pollen collection during target practice. A potentially high risk, high reward bee with its ability dynamics, which involve player interaction. Number four, Spicy Bee. Fast honey production and a good gather amount. Its abilities can enhance flame duration and pollen conversion from flames, potentially synergizing well with other flame-related bees and abilities. Tadpole Bee, number five. Specializes in blue pollen collection and has a significant boost to instant bubble conversion. Has abilities that boost pollen collection and loot luck, potentially making it valuable for both pollen gathering and battling mobs. Number six, 
Vector B. Balanced stats with a slight edge in speed, convert speed, and energy. Its abilities revolve around making areas on the field for boosted pollen collection. Its abilities revolve around marking areas on the field for boosted pollen collection, and it can synergize well with other mark-related abilities. Now, when making a decision about which bees to prioritize or focus on, consider the following. Synergy with other bees, gameplay focus, player interaction, overall balance, which all of those are important, but they're not exactly what we're looking for. Those are really mainly for if you're actually playing the game properly. But this, this is all just theoretically speaking, based off of just the numbers. So, so far, in my opinion, I, from what I'm getting, I'd say the buoyant bee would be the best bee at the moment, but we're gonna find out what AI thinks in just a second. Okay, so... I want you to decide what the best mythic bee is. This is all entirely theoretical, but the question is, if you had to choose a full hive of 50 of only one of these bees, which would be the best? Choosing the, quote, best bee depends largely on your primary objectives in the game, in parentheses, pollen collection, honey production, fighting mobs, etc. However, taking a hypothetical approach where we consider a hive of 50 of a single type of bee, here's how each might perform. So right now it's writing out what each bee would be the best at. Here we go. One, buoyant bee. A full hive of buoyant bees would be a powerhouse of blue pollen collection and capacity expansion. You would be seeing constant blue bombs and a consistent rise in pollen from balloons, especially considering the increased chance of summoning gold balloons with so many of them working at once. The high energy and conversion rates would likely make for rapid pollen collection and honey production. Number two, the fuzzy bee. With a hive of fuzzy bees, your field would be consistently saturated with fuzz bombs, leading to a massive amount of pollen collection over time. Albeit at a slower rate due to the bee's lower base speed, the constant pollen haze would lead to a fast flower growth rate, and the fuzzy coat would ensure higher pollen yield from flowers. Number three, precise bee. A hive of precise bees would turn your game into a highly interactive shooting range with constant target practices. This could lead to massive bursts of pollen collection and high super crit chances, resulting in substantial damage against mobs and impressive pollen collection rates. The focus on critical and supercritical hits can potentially multiply your pollen and honey gains drastically. Okay, so Precise Bee is pretty good, but so far I think Buoyant Bee is the best. Spicy Bee, number four. A hive of spicy bees would be a fire-fueled powerhouse. The flame abilities would constantly be activated, and with the steam engine passive, your spicy bees would be moving and gathering at a very high speeds, potentially leading to very fast pollen collection and honey production. Number five, tadpole bee. A tadpole bee hive would focus heavily on blue pollen and bubble gel geleration. What does and bubble generation, potentially creating a sea of bubbles and frogs in your field. The high blue pollen collection rates and instant bubble conversion boosts would ensure high pollen and honey yields with additional loot luck from baby love. Number six, the vector bee. A hive of vector bees would create a scenario where marks are constantly being created and surged, potentially creating a dynamic and interactive gameplay experience with high boosts to pollen collection within marked areas, especially if you can manage to stay within the many overlapping marks. Okay, overall, I'm still thinking the buoyant bee is still gonna be the number one thing because when it comes to honey collection or well honey production not honey collection um to have such big capacity would be incredibly useful especially because we only have 50 of one type of bee so i am still absolutely rooting for the buoyant bee although precise bee with the instant conversion might actually be pretty good come to think of it well we'll see what ai says scrolling down now so to choose the best bee from these here are the standout choices based on different goals for maximum honey production, Buoyant Bee, in parentheses, due to its high honey making speed and abilities that can significantly boost capacity and honey at the hive. For high pollen collection, especially from blue flowers, the Tadpole Bee. Really? I thought it would be something more like the, like, 
precise or spicy bee? All right, so tadpole bee, with its focus on blue pollen and bubble generation, although buoyant bee is a close competitor. Okay, yeah, so tadpole and buoyant are pretty good, uh, compar uh, comparatively speaking, they're pretty tied. For a balanced approach with interactive gameplay, the precise bee, due to its target practice ability offering both engagement and significant boosts. Overall, for a theoretical setup of a full hive of 50 of one type of bee, I would lean towards the buoyant bee, mainly due to its high honey production capabilities and abilities that can significantly augment capacity and pollen collection potentially leading to a booming honey economy. But it's a tight race, and different approaches could potentially favor some of the other bees, especially considering the unique abilities and interactions that would be at play with one single type of bee. Well, I think AI and I solidly agree that the buoyant bee would be the best bee for the maximum honey production if you had to have 50 of one mythic bee type. Obviously, there were a bunch of things excluded from the equation, like abilities such as bubble bloat, that's a big one, um, gummy stars, stuff like that. Those were obviously excluded um, to make this as standard and simple as possible, but just talking about the bees, buoyant bee seems to come out on top. Again, this is all an opinion. Leave your opinion in the comments below. Everybody, please be respectful of everyone's opinion. I know everybody can get super, super heated over this game um, in comment sections. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. See you all later. Goodbye.